Hello, I'm John Santiago, and today's lesson will cover common factors and grouping. Here we'll talk about how do we factor polynomials. In other words, how do we find the greatest common factor? This is part of a series of videos. So if you have questions on these videos, please contact me at john at eliteworks.com as shown here, or visit freedomuniversity.tv. Factoring out the greatest common factor. What we're going to do here is first finding the product and finding the factors. So here we have factors 4 and factor x plus y. The product between this is just use the distributive law. So here we distribute 4 throughout these two terms. So this would be 4 times x then 4 times y with an addition between them. Here we have two factors 5 and a minus 2b. So we distribute again 5 throughout these two terms. So 5 times a is 5a. 5, 5 minus 2b equals minus 10b. Here we have 2x times x plus 3. 2x is a factor and x plus 3 is a factor. Therefore we multiply these two factors using the distributive law where we distribute 2x between these two terms x and 3. Therefore 2x times x is 2x squared and then 2x times 3 is 6. Let's find the factors. Here we have 4x plus 4y and we note that 4 is a common factor between them, the greatest common factor. So we factor out the 4 and then what's left here is x plus y. So here we went from going from two factors to a product and now we're going from a product and two factors. So 4 is a factor and x plus y is a factor. Let's try this one. 5a minus 10b. The greatest common factor is 5. So we factor out the 5. That leaves a and then this leaves minus 2b. So 5 is a factor and a minus 2b is a factor. Finally let's look at 2x squared plus 6. Here we see that only 2 is common between them. Well probably this is a typo. This is 6x. So here we have, so assume that this is 2x 